السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دس از این انگلش میسج ایم سسٹر فرینا صدیقی اینڈ آئی ایم ٹاکنگ ٹو پیرنٹس دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ تھنگ دیٹ یو کین گیو اور گرینڈ اور ہیو یور کٹس ٹیکن فرام یو از یور ٹرسٹ اینڈ یور کانفیڈنس ان دیم از اے لاسٹ سلیو اینڈ ہاؤ ڈو یو گیو دیٹ ٹرسٹ یو بلیو ان دیم ٹو بیکم دا بیسٹ سلیو آف اللہ سبحانہ تعالیٰ ود دا بیسٹ پاسبل اپرچونیٹیز ود دا بیسٹ پاسبل انوائرمنٹ دیٹ یو کین پرووائڈ ان اے مسلم ہاؤس ہولڈ اینڈ اٹس کروشل دیٹ یو کنیکٹ یور کٹس آف یور ہاؤس ہولڈ یور بوائز اینڈ یور ڈاٹرس to the right kind of people who actually can protect their deen and who can actually guide them towards the best possible teachings of our Islam, the deen of, deen of Allah and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam sira. The Muslims in your care, under your care, are given to you as an amana. These are an amana, these are uh, an amana as an, a trust from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given to you as a privilege. You're not the owner of this. You're not the owner of your children, but you have a responsibility to provide them with the utmost amazing set of opportunity to become the best slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most obedient, the most submitting slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So they can become your sadqa jariya and they work towards establishment of Allah's deen. If you don't do that today, your grave will be in a really big mess. my brothers and sisters your akhira will be in a really messed up situation my brothers and sisters so today as parents you need to ensure that your kids hang out with the right kind of people they join the right kind of classes they are attracted to people who are in love of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and who fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them the environment give them the opportunities give them the courses give them the aqeedah classes give, give them the best possible opportunities to interact with the muslim brothers and sisters If you can do that and also create a friend circle that actually never lets them forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are doing your job right. Give them the opportunity to understand the richness of their history, richness of their culture, richness of their historic value as a Muslim. Ta- tell them about the time of Sahaba razi Allah ta'ala and the best worthy companions of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tell them the legacy of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tell them why Islam is the way of life, is the complete constitution of a, a Muslim's life. Tell them why. Don't make them adopt Islam. L- let them embrace Islam. Do not inherit Islam to them. Let them understand and absorb Islam and implement Islam in their lives as the way of life. Because Islam is not a religion. It's the deen of Allah. It's the divine guidance and is the constitution of every, every believer's life. If they follow Islam in every aspect of their life, only then and only then they will be successful in this dunya and the akhira. And you are the people who actually make this happen. You are the people who are the people who will guide and become the role model of that. Practice Islam. Believe in Islam. Do not inherit it from your parents either. Adopt Islam. Embrace Islam. As Muslims who are in complete submission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you do that, your kids will follow. Give them the opportunities. Give them the connections, give them the environment and give them the fear of Allah with complete mindfulness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with everything that you do. If you keep Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala submission and his obedience at the forefront of your life, your kids will see it and before you know it, they'll start follow you. It's not about only praying five times. It's not about only fasting during Ramadan and doing whatever you want throughout the rest of the year. It's about living and breathing Islam in every day of your life. So your kids will see it and they will become the best slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even when, you, when you're gone from this world, they will become your sadqa jariya. And they will work towards establishing of Allah's deen in their lives and the rest, uh, life of the rest of the ummah, inshallah. May Allah be pleased with you. Keep me in your duas and my kids in your duas and the kids of our ummah in your duas, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.